left off. <laughs> and you started flirting with me, and we actually fixed her problem about this whole thing about um, trying to impress her fans by showing her how much money she got. Like, at least we got to crack some sense into her, and now she's flirting with me. Anna, Anna. Anyways, I'm going to keep on getting cuter and cuter. And soon, you won't be able to resist me. <laughs> oh, she plays too damn much. Uh, uh, should I be surprised by these pictures by any chance? Not really, but at the same time... God damn! So what do you think of this angle, Mr. Cameraman? AU glance over at me, over her shoulder, a ruggish look, or sorry, a roguish smirk played about her lips. This is good enough for you? Does it make them more my charm? Do I look appealing? <laughs> AU giggles, pleased by herself and rocking her hips from side to side. Her round, full-ass sways hypnotically. She looks so good. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Try as a you might, but I don't think her behind is quite as shapely as Marina's. <laughs> oh well, I'll give her points a try. I think these photos will make your fans very happy at least. Huh? Who cares about them? You should, if you want to keep selling CDs. Oh, please. Hey, you pouts. They have nothing to do with this. Right now, it's just me and you. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed that you don't seem more... enthralled by my perfect body. But I'll make you realize how charming I am in due course. Then I'll make you grow at my feet and beg for my attention. Um, yeah. I'll use this body of mine to turn you into my adorable uh, cuddle. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> and you grins wickedly. Now what are you waiting for? Why don't you take my picture? This is why, I, why wh you came all the way over here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was so distracted I, that I almost completely forgot what I was supposed to be doing. I adjusted the camera that brought, brought it to my eyes. I took a step back, so better to frame a used body against the aquamarine water. The blue water contrasts nicely with a used gold swimsuit. Stray droplets of water arc through the air, shimmering like diamonds in the sunlight. I'm sure my boss will love these photos. I'm staring, I'm starting taking photos to shutter flash at an irregular interval. While I photograph her, I call out instructions to AU and she's only too happy to obey me. Turn your head to the right, no the other right. Can you toy with your hair? Maybe, maybe you, maybe if you turn this way, then that's it. I use a pretty good model, even if she isn't posing in a pool full of banknotes. She's dreading this photo shoot for a while, but this is a lot more fun than I anticipated. And I think this is one of the better photo shoots I've had in a while. I guess. It helps that the subject of the photo of my shoot is so conveniently attractive. But the scenery is too dead for two. I, I forgot how much fun photography can be. I'm having a blast. I was at least until. Hey you! How dare you seduce my boyfriend, Wei? What? Wanna run that by me again? I stagger back winded as something collided with me. My camera falls to the ground just as, a, as if I did on the evening of the AU concert through the sands mercifully helping cushion. 
I don't think my camera should be too badly damaged. At least it didn't land in the ocean. But that's not my top priority here. What's going on? I glance at my right momentarily bewildered and... Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh my goodness. There's a girl clinging on to me. It's a girl I know well, and I've never seen her wear an, quite, an outfit quite like this before. Her two-tone hair is cut into a cute, choppy bob, and her amber eyes are lined with long, full lashes. She had a snub nose, cherry blossom lips, and a full figure befitting to any model. It's Cosmos? That's right. Cosmos clings onto me jealously, her breasts push up against my arms. Last time I spoke to Cosmos, she was wearing her baggy jacket and a short denim shorts. Right now, however, she's attired in something that look a bit like a swimming costume, tight and elastic. Upon her head, she sports a pair of ram's horn and a bat-like wings protod from her back. This must be Cosmos Succubus Farm. I've never seen it before. She looks pretty good at like this, I guess. And I don't have much time to ponder Cosmos' good looks because AU's stalking over to us. Her form changes from every step, horn spouted from her scalp, a tail protrude in her derriere. Um, even a used golden bikini melts away to reveal a skimmy red costume. I'm not gonna lie, these are really catching my attention right now. Good fucking lord. And the fact that her wings are below the waist? Hey, Cosmos. A you stabs a finger at an unexpected intruder. What do you think you're doing here? This is my private beach. I didn't offer you an invitation. Get out. Scram. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, I won't. Cosmos grips my arm even more tightly. If this thing is possible, my arm is being swallowed by her shelf on her chest. This might be your beach, but Hiroki is my boyfriend. I love her a lot, and I won't let you just seduce him. Trust me, trust me, Cosmos. She's trying, but she ain't doing very well. Your boyfriend? And you raises an eyebrow. Shit. Don't be ridiculous. You're a succubus. We don't have boyfriends. We only have conquests. I don't understand why you want to take a plain, boring man like this as your boyfriend anyway. I bet there are tapeworms out here that would be more interesting than he is. You say that, but... Oh! Oh! What the fuck is happening? Oh my god! Dear lord! Looks like Hiroki is definitely having the best fun time of his life! And trust me, I would definitely be in his shoes right now. Look at his face! I can't blame him for it, man! You're clinging on to Hiroki even harder than I am. What? No, I'm not! Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Oh, good lord. These two are really arguing right now. <sighs> AU counters shrilly, but her arms wind about my neck more tightly than before. If this keeps up, she might really choke me. Cosmos really had contr has control over my right side. My arm is being engulfed by her impressive valley of her breasts. And, and I am afraid I will never be able to extricate it. <sighs> you, meanwhile, takes a hold of my left. Her arm lo are looped really around my arms like those small child grasp at a favorite toy. 
These girls are both shorter than I am despite her heels, but they're surprisingly strong. They're gripping me so hard, my arm feeling numb. I'm afraid my bones are going to splinter. Marina wasn't kidding when she said Succubi had more stamina than your regular person. They're way too powerful. I'm not clinging on to Hiroki because I like him or anything. Baka. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that just to annoy people. I know I'm going to annoy people when I do that. <laughs> uh, and now, AU's realizing there's no way she can deny Cosmos' claims. I guess she decided to change tack. Clever. I'm clinging on to him because he's my cameraman. We're in the middle of a shoot, which you are rudely interrupting. And now, relinquish him at once. I won't. Hiroki agreed to be my boyfriend before he became a, your cameraman, so there. Why, you? A you glowers at Cosmos. Stop acting so impertinent. Don't you think you can boss me around just because you have a few more followers on Rapid Pound than I do? I have two million more followers than you do. Eek, don't you say it, don't you say it. Nobody likes a show off. Jeez, that's a prime example of the pot call the kettle black. Are you such a hypocrite? I'm tempting to call her out in this one, but she's still talking. Her show voice cuts through the air like a sight. <sighs> her chest presses even more against my arm. Who cares how many followers you have? I'm still older than you. You should have respected my wishes. Why are you even here? Who told you I'd be here? Marina did. She told me about your photo shoot. I'm afraid you tried to seduce my boyfriend, so I came to see you. I know what you're like. I don't trust you, AU. You're a bad girl, and you and you always want the things I have. You're so jealous. Jealous? Who said I was jealous? I'm not jealous. I don't like a rookie one bit. Then let go of him. Only if you let go of him first. I won't. I love him. And I love it if could finish up my photo shoot without you distracting him. You tugs my left arm while Cosmos talks to my right. They're both pulling me so hard. I'm afraid my limbs will pop clean off their sockets. Then my career as a photographer will be well truly scrumpered. Is there anything to make them stop? Well, actually, Tell them both, both. Girls, please, we do not need to fight. Please, let go. Oh, shut up. A you being a you completely ignores my please. I'm not sure what I expected, really. Me neither. Why do I even bother? Exactly, yeah. I don't even know why you like Hiroki. You've always had strange tastes, and I didn't think you would quite, you were quite this weird. I'm not weird, Marina, Marina likes him too. Marina likes any spineless man who can she can manipulate. She would, wouldn't would set much store by her premiers. <sighs> AU snorts dismissively. Marina's not as young as you, as she used to be. She's not getting, she's getting on in years. Her prime's well and truly behind her. Her poor older sister can't seduce men like she used to. So she can't, she has to settle for dregs now. She's desperate. Oh, desperate am I? Yes, that's right, Marina is, oh shit. I just caught what, what just happened just then. Yes, that's right, Marina's only wish she could be as cute as I am. She's pathetic. She. You do realize. I'm pretty sure that was her that was just speaking. I'm pretty sure that was just her that was just speaking just now. But I use mocking charade. Uh, <laughs> soon, Peter's out. 
She lets go of my arm and turns her head stiffer than a wooden draw. Or wooden doll, excuse me. All colors drain from her cheeks, and then she whimpers. M Marina? Is that you? Well, of course. Who else would it be? Marina stands before us, tall and striking as always. She's a tired, not in the regular of a businesswoman, but the garb of a succubus. Her horns and her wings added to her disconcerting demeanor. Demeanor, I think. I don't know how to say it. Marina's dark skin glows in the tropical sunlight. Her long white hair flutters in the breeze and her eyes narrow with a look of unmistakable disdain. It's a pleasure to see you, AU. I miss you, my dear younger sister. I wish I could say that without any lingering regret, but Marina scowls. I couldn't help but overhear what you said about me. I like to believe I was mistaken. Being so very old, my hearing isn't what it used to be, but I doubt I could make such a mistake. You said I was desperate. You call me pathetic. Is this a way to speak of our kind, caring older sister? who has stuck by you through thick and thin. What do you have to say in your defense, hmm? I, uh, um, a youth swallows. Then she gets down on her hands and knees, her forehead pressed against the burning sand and cries. I'm so sorry, Marina. I really, tr I'm really, truly sorry. Really? Marina raised an eyebrow. Then that's gratifying to hear. But I don't think you're sorry enough. So come here. Marina si sits upon a nearby rock and then pats her thighs with one hand. You've clearly forgotten your manners, so, but don't worry. I will teach, teach them to you once more, as any kind of benevolent si big sister should. It's because I care about you that... I care about you that I'm willing to go such lengths as for your sake, my dear you. Now, what do you have to say about that? I, uh... Ayu gets her feet in spotted with sand and then winces. I'm so happy, big sis. Thank you very much. I do love you a bunch. You just get dried old hag. Really? <laughs> this is brilliant. This is brilliant. <laughs> oh, all right, you. Have you learned your lesson yet? Yes, Bixis, I've learned my lesson. I'm sorry. Really? That's what you said, but you don't sound very sorry to me. I still don't. I still don't think your grasp of sheer gravity of your wrongdoing. No, I do. I definitely do. I understand. So please let me go. Let me off the hook. Don't spake me again, Marina. Please don't. That's Miss Marina to you, you ungrateful maggot. And you're in no position to tell me what to do. Now we're pink. Maybe this will help you shit some of your herbice. This is for insulting me. Smack. And this is for bothering Hiroki. And this is for arguing with Cosmos. And this is because looking at your smudged face pissed me off. What? Hey, wait, that's not fair. I ah! Marina's palms find AU's unprotective ass once more. Her palm cheeks against AU rear like a whip, and AU cries out in pain. Her legs kicks back and forth in the air, and tears breathe in her eyes. I haven't counted how many times Marina spanked her naughty little sister, but it must have been the fourth round or so of her punishment. A U's been bent double over Marina's lap, her pulse ass raised 
for the almost 10 minutes. I started to feel sorry for the poor girl. Is it true that, is it true? It is true a use, God damn it, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time. It is true a use pretty obnoxious, but does she really deserve such a harsh punishment? Hey, Cosmos. I shoot a look at Cosmos, who's been observing this scene with an impressive look on her face. Does Marina often discipline AU like this? Yes, AU often annoys Marina. She doesn't show her any respect. AU blurt out whatever comes to her mind. Then she gets in trouble. I see. Uh, don't you think you, I should try and stopping her? Huh? Why would you do that? Well, aren't you a little worried? You sounds like she's in a lot of pain. It's fine, she's stronger than she looks. It's all an act. Are you sure? Looks like she's really crying. That's fake tears. She's not really sorry, and she hasn't learned anything from this. I can tell. I've known AU longer than you have. She's a natural born actress. I can't keep up, keep up with her really. Talking to people is exhausting. I don't think I could interact with society without pretending to be somebody else. I guess she's kind of impressive in a sense. Hey, Marina, please stop. I've already said I'm sorry. Please don't hit me so hard. It'll make it hard to dance. As an idol, I take good at care of my body. I can't afford it to let it all go flabby and saggy like yours. Bobby and Saggy, ain't it? That's news to me. I had no idea, but thank you for bringing that to my attention. Now, let me repay you for your kindness. What? No, Mar Marina, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant, uh, well... <laughs> but she's very stupid, too. Yes, I can see that for myself. I continue to watch my lips for... And as Marina subjects... AU to the fullest brunt of her ear. I do feel sorry for AU, but this is her fault. None of this would have happened if she hadn't been so rude to Marina. Cosmos is right. AU really hasn't learned anything. She's such a dummy. I'm gonna hold it here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Make sure to hit that notification bell if you want to join the Iron High today. This has been Zed, guys. Later.